Every day, Carol Phelps escorts her great-grandchildren, Ellie and Jamie, back home from school. That includes Wednesday, when a domestic dispute erupted in violent fashion across from Reading Middle School. April Hancock was shot and gravely wounded. Joe Mar Harris fatally turned the gun on himself. He went down. He was so upset. He ran down to see what was happening, just down to the corner. Of course, he couldn't go any farther. She says the gunplay is not surprising to her. She had heard about the little boy who was in the back seat of a rolling car as the dispute turned deadly, about the same age as her great granddaughter, she told us. Around the corner, Kathy Engel was singing the praises of the man who guided the little one safely away from the danger. She's lived here 44 years, says she has never experienced anything like it before. Talked about the stranger who looked after the boy. He went right into harm's way. He was the car. Um, he said that the, uh, the man that did the shooting, his car rolled back into his car. He was the car right behind him, and it rolled into his. And when he got out, he said his only thing was he wanted to make sure that baby was okay. So that's reassuring to this shaken neighborhood. So is the swift response from police and the well-drilled lockdown at the school. But the gun stuff leaves scars. You don't know what to expect. It just seems like it's an everyday occurrence anymore. Carol Phelps got her loved one safely home again today. It seemed her number one priority at this stage of her life. That great grandmother says she's had family members take their own lives, telling us you never know what the trigger point might be. In Reading, John London, WLWT, News 5.